between West Palm Beach and Royal Palm Beach, right off of Lions in between Southern and Forest Hill. It's a five bedroom, four and a half bath home, 4,043 under air, 5,022 total. Does have a small pull out back. A lot of nice detail in the home with the molding. You have large neutral light brown tiles throughout downstairs, carpet upstairs. Here you have the formal dining area. Do you have the double tray ceilings in there as well and the extra molding work. You see the cutouts, a little bar area. Overall the home's in decent shape. It definitely takes a little bit of work to get this home back into moving condition. Minor drywall, pair of carpets. A couple of systems, looks like they need some attention as far as the AC system, uh, all new appliances. Here you have the kitchen. They went to the dark kitchen with the dark uh, cabinets. Do you have the uh, molding on top? And then the dark granite to go with it. Then you have the everyday living area with the breakfast snow. Where your fridge would go, and then you'd have a, a double oven here. You have a bedroom and a, an office downstairs. Here you have Berber carpet. Definitely looks like it need to be replaced. I did take the crown molding in here. You have a full bath with the door leading on the outside. You are on a corner lot. And then here is the everyday living area. Let me show the backyard where I'm out this way. The shrubbery is uh, pretty overgrown here. And then you have a little bit of a side yard there. Like I said, you are on the corner. You have a small balcony up there. came in from. Master is on the second story. I'm sorry, Master is on the first floor. And then you also have a, a secondary master that's on the second floor. So this home really has two master bedrooms. You have the tray ceiling and the molding in here as well.
This is her saying large jacuzzi tub, bidet and commode. And here we have the den slash office. Molding work, nice high ceilings. Tile in here as well. It's kind of sticky. And here you have a half a bath. All right, let's go upstairs, take a look at the bedrooms. So that's two bedrooms down, the den being downstairs. Actually, let me, here you have the laundry room leading out to the three car garage. Here you have all the hurricane panels. Looks like one of the garage doors is missing the opener. And then, looks like someone's working on the blower on one of the air handlers. Then you have the hot water heater. Here we have the bedroom towards the front of the house. This have its own door to the bathroom. You have a sink area and then a door that closes off the shower and bathroom area. And here we have the second bedroom upstairs. And here you have a nice size loft area. Could be used as a playroom or another uh, living area, like a, a little TV room upstairs. And you have a balcony off the loft area. It gives you a good shot of the pool. A little awkward shaped pool, but uh, a pool nonetheless. Pterodactyl? What the? Oh. Some big old geese flying. Alright, here's the bedroom that is the third bedroom upstairs. Those are the doors we just saw on the balcony. This is uh, really like a second master. Which is uh, nice if you had a mother-in-law or nanny and you really wanted to give them a really nice room kind of deal. Do you have two separate closets and here you have a bathroom with a nice large jacuzzi tub, separate shower area. Then a separate commode area. This has been Mark Baker with BuyingPalmBeachHomes.com Doing a video tour of a home in Wellington View 5 bedroom, 4.5 bath 4,043 under air 2005 it was the year it was built With a pool Thanks a lot for riding along on this video tour Have a great day